Hi everyone, in this video clip, I'll be introducing to you a new chapter that is topic 9 on probability. So in this video clip, I'll go through some concepts of probability and then it ends off with a simple example on probability. Now, some terms on probability that you need to know. The first is what we call an experiment. Okay. Basically, an experiment will lead to outcomes because whenever you perform an experiment, we are not certain what will be the outcomes. So, an experiment will lead to outcomes and we are interested in the probability or the chance that a particular set of outcomes For example, the experiment could be rolling a die and then the outcomes would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 6. And you might be interested in finding the probability that the score on a die is more than 4. In that case, it means 5 or 6. So the probability okay, of an event occurring Okay. Event A is basically a subset of all the outcomes. So for example, the event could be the, pro the event that the score on a die is more than 4. To find the probability that event A occurs, it can be actually obtained by looking at the number of elements in A over the number of elements in the whole sample space. And this sample space, which is denoted by S, refers to all the outcomes. In the case of rolling a die, the S will denote, will comprise 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6 as well. Okay. Now some properties of probability, the first property is that the probability of an event occurring is always be between 0 and 1 inclusive. 0 means that it's not possible for A to occur and one will be the case when it will always occur. And likewise, if A prime denotes the complement of A, what is complement of A? It means that A does not occur. And to find the probability that A complement occurs will be the same as one minus the probability that a occurs. That will be one of the important relationships between probability of A and probability A complement. Now let's take a look at the example that comes at the end of this particular handout. It says that a number is chosen from a set of numbers 1 to 10. Find the probability the number chosen is a prime number. For it to be a prime number, it means that it's either 2, 3, 5, 7 hmm, are all possible prime numbers from 1 to 10. So there are 4 of them over the total number which is 10 and that gives me 2 over 5. In part 2, we are looking at the probability of it not being a prime number. Not being a prime number is actually the complement of the event that is a prime number. So we have 1 minus 2 fifth, that gives me 3 over 5. And in part 3, we are looking at the probability that is an odd number, which is a multiple of 3, multiple of 3. So which are the possibilities? Of course the possibilities are 3 or 9. These are all numbers which are multiples of 3. So that means it's 2 over 10 and which gives you 1 fifth. Okay, I hope these three parts of the question gives you an idea how we actually can calculate probability in simple situations. And then in subsequent video clips, we'll look at some other types of 
probably the problems. Thank you.